everybody. What's up? Don Carr here with another round of What's on Your Pedal Board, and today I'm with the amazing Eric Krasno. Thanks, Don. Woo! Appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me. Man, thanks for being here. Yeah. Really, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I've man. loved being here, man. It's like a kid in a candy store around here. <laughs> right? It's a blast. Yeah. All the stuff, man. Yeah. All the gear, all the things. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. a huge gear nerd, so Are I feel like really? I'm a, the gear nerd mecca. <laughs> Of you've the arrived. world, you've arrived, yeah. and it's funny that everybody that's here that works here, you know, same deal. I know. All just do you know, super gear. Now. I know it's hard to get anything done because we all, everyone I talk to, we just start going down the gear rabbit hole, and we never can get out until exactly. someone taps me on the shoulder and says, mm -hmm. "Okay, let's let's go do what we got to do." Exactly, and it can be anything. You find a yeah. guitar player, you find a keyboard player, you yeah. find a you know, an engineer, you find a oh man, yeah, I love it, I love it. Yeah, good stuff, definitely, man. Um, wow. I gotta say, I little confession here. I I was only somewhat familiar with your resume, and so I did a little digging yesterday. Good grief, dude! What do you not do? You do everything. You songwrite. You produce. You're in how many bands? Like six bands, and, and, it's, and it gets and it, ex a solo it expands every day. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, you know. Thanks, man. I, you know, I've, I I came up listening to such a broad. Um, palette of music, thanks to my dad and my brother and everyone around. So I'm just never satisfied. Is really, <laughs> I'm just nice. like I just want to play this style for a little while. Then I want to go it's over like, here. And I want to. So you know, be um, you know, producing and writing with people it has been such a blessing because I get to work in so many different genres. And, yeah. You know, um, but I also, you know, playing guitar, it's like one day I'm listening to Hendrix and, and the next day, uh, you know, Rory Block or, you know, it's like I'm always Tony Rice. And yeah, right. So right. it's like uh, you never know what's what's next. Yeah, know? that's great, man. And the fact you get to exercise all of that professionally, yeah. that's that's the really fun part. Man. Yeah, yeah. I do look forward yeah. to that. And yeah, actually just came from doing a, a Hendrix tribute on New Year's Eve nice. and got to really dive into some Hendrix tones, which is like, nice. I mean, that's that's what I came up on. Yeah, you know, right, That was what right. made me want to play guitar oh, is when wow. I first heard Hendrix and yeah. and Jimmy Page and sure. you know, that era of rock and roll. That's yeah. that's it for me. Right? I hear you, man. That's the that's the root, right? That's the yeah. thing that when, 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 you know, when everything else is shut off, that's what's left, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> you know? for sure, man. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So you have your fly rig, which yes. is super revealing on my, in my opinion. It really <laughs> yeah. is because it's like, this is the bare bones minimum must have. Yes. So I was explaining earlier, I mean, I do have my larger uh, pedal board with mm -hmm. uh, all the bells and whistles. But, you know, especially for this last trip, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm flying. I brought my two-year-old with me, too, and I have strollers and all right. that. Shout out to all the rock and roll dads out there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I had to, I went with my tiny little flyboard. And this is kind of the flyboard plus, as I would say, because I've got a couple extras kind of hanging off the side. Side cars, yeah. Side cars, couple of side exactly. cars going, okay. Yeah, um, but, you know, these are kind of the essentials. Yeah. And, uh I, I've been so happy that these, that great pedals can come in such small sizes these days. No and as you can see, there's a lot of MXR stuff on yeah. here. I love love those guys, and they make amazing pedals. I yes, also they have do. the tiny little uh, Pegtronics um, oh, Oc yeah. Octava. Am yeah. I saying that right? Yeah. And then um, my Analog Man envelope filter, and then this Infinity uh, Looper on the end just in case we want to have a little fun with that you know? yeah from the beginning yeah. usually the best place to start is the uh, the signal flow so from the beginning are you going to the tuner first you know in this case i like to hit the envelope filter first because it, it just the dynamics with the guitar it depends mm -hmm. on the output of the guitar you have yeah. but i love hitting that first so it can really the dynamics are where i want them from my fingers right and every whatnot. pick move you is know? yeah and i don't know if i have it it's set exactly right but you know you know, just being able to hit it, like my fingers and my pick mm -hmm. can really control yeah. what the sound is with that right, pedal if right. it's first. But yeah. I love this pedal. Um, I do a lot of work with Phil Lesh, Bob Weir, the Grateful Dead yeah. guys, and yeah. you know, Jerry, one of Jerry's signature sounds was that envelope filter. It's so it's something I've always got to have somewhere yeah. in the in the arsenal. Heck yeah, yeah, that's a good one too, man. Yeah, I really, really I love is. all the analog man stuff. I yeah. On my other board, I've got the, the King of Tone, which has been on there for almost 20 years, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, right. And uh, love the, his fuzz pedals and yeah. yeah, 
he's awesome. Yeah, most definitely. So okay, so then next then, is the octave. Uh, yeah. Octava, is that? Yeah, yes. That's what it is. Yeah. And by the way, I've had this sugar drive on kind of you know so I can kind of flip that on and off. But uh, yeah, the octava, um, mm -hmm. which obviously for the Hendrix stuff is really fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What well, gives you the extra spit on the top, you know, yeah. plus all the, again, the dynamic range and also early in the signal chain. Yeah, I like that. I know people kind of switch yeah. around where your fuzz and the octave is, but right. I, I like it towards the, the beginning. Yeah. Um, also, you know, when you're dealing with a tiny little flyboard, it's like, you know, the tuner, I just kind of put everything in a line <laughs> to <laughs> make it easy, do, uh, which works though, man. Yeah. And then I've, I've got the polytune tuner, which is just like my sure. go-to. Yeah. Uh, and set that for a mute, obviously. Right? Yes. I yeah. set that for a mute, yeah. you know, and, uh, I love this super badass Variac fuzz. Um, uh, ever since I tried it, it mm -hmm. has. I bring that with me everywhere. See that that that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Is that is on the board? That is the only yeah. normal size pedal. Yes, that's so the that's, only normal. That size. says <laughs> that says a lot. That says right? everything. It's real. Yeah, estate. no, I can't go without that one. It's really important to my sound. Yeah. I use it on, on the, my last two records like consistently. Yeah. and I have a lot of old fuzzes, and I've got a lot of like ones I've collected over. There's something about this one and the versatility. I mm -hmm. love like the the variac between the five volt and the 15 volt yeah there's just a lot of cool tones you can get out of it yeah I mean, right now smush it down a lot man. yeah so the right now volts, i've kind of yeah. got it not super gained up <laughs> I just, I just love that. Man, pedal. that's nice. That re you know, to to be even kind of soft and squishy like that, it really makes those single notes punch. Yeah, you know, yeah. Which is nice. Love that pedal. Yeah. Next to that, we've got the, the Sugar Drive, which is just like, just a great sounding pedal. <laughs> kind of had that all on all along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, one of the things about that pedal is, um, I mean, right now we've got this amazing amp, the Supro yeah. Royale, which I love. Yeah. But, you know, being on the road, sometimes you end up with backline amps and it's, it's kind of just like an amp fixer. So, like, if worst case scenario, I have this thing on, I dial it in right, mm. you know, and I end up with, like, an amp that isn't great. Uh I usually can make it work. Yeah, those, those <laughs> back on all night. SIR amps that have been shot out of a can and yeah, you know, <laughs> run exact, over by a truck and yeah. Exactly. So yeah. this is one of those pedals where, you know, a lot of, unless I'm playing some like funk rhythm stuff, I might keep this on all night. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh Yep, just driving the front of the amp a little harder and yeah. just giving it a little more. Yeah, because then I can still play rhythm stuff. <laughs> You know, but it's it's not total crunch, but it's right, uh, right. Well, and it's just creamy, uh, and exactly. And you can you're blending yourself with your volume knob, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you I'm know, doing that's some your of that that's too, your yeah. dynamic control. So yeah. to have a little extra gain at the very top of it is yeah. kind of nice too. And then you know, absolutely, and I love that. And then I can dial the EQ in a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah. And you know, again, Hendrix, the Phase ninety five. Man, mm -hmm. I love this pedal. Yeah, and and it, even against my you know and the size. The size doesn't matter, man. Yeah. You know, it does, it's like yeah. that. It just sounds great. Um, let's see. And then also with the fuzz. <laughs> Also with the octave. Yeah, yeah lo 
love that. Nice, love that, man. Though. That's chewy, dude. You yep. like really. Yeah. Yep. And then, you know, I, I kind of <laughs> use the tra I have a, this Trellicopter. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember how I found this thing. It was, again, just trying to find a tremolo that could fit in the small space. But, you know, it just does what I... And that, right now, I got to get it on the right speed. Oh, it's on the octave, but... You know, does yeah. does the job. It's great. Yeah. And then the carbon copy, um, which I I used the old one for so long. Right now, it's set on the long regen. But uh, I just I I love setting it to like a slapback kind of thing. You know, right now it's a little bit. Let me get it right. But uh. It's almost like kind of just having a bigger reverb or yeah. just uh, yep. great for like sustain stuff or what the fuck. The one thing about the carbon copy that's so great is that even though you get the repeat, yeah. you know, it gets out of the way like immediately. Right, you right. Know? So right. you still hear the attack of the next note. You don't lose that. Yeah, you don't lose that's that. Some, Absolutely. One, one of the great things, of brilliant things about the voicing of that pedal, man. Yes, I love it. It's yeah. my, f my favorite delay and I have all the other versions too. Yeah. And yeah, and then sometimes on my larger board, I'll have another delay for more longer delay mm -hmm. stuff with an expression pedal and stuff. But I just love having that, that slap back kind of thing happening. And then just for fun, we got kind of added in this, this Infinity 3 Looper, which yeah. is awesome i use that at home a lot right and i've actually just discovered how much you can do with the midi on there which is so cool i don't have it hooked up right now but uh you know i, I create a lot of my music in ableton mm -hmm. and uh, creating loops yeah. in ableton and working mm -hmm. with drums and stuff like that it's just fun you can midi into there and it locks up together exactly so. cut and paste so easy man so yeah. great so it's really been a useful tool for putting ideas together yeah and, that's yeah. cool man yeah. wow yeah, interesting. Never even, I, I, you know, that's an interesting use of a looper I would have never even considered. I didn't really think about it until recently. Thanks yeah. to Dave Coltai, I was on the phone with him and I was like, hey man, I'm trying to figure out some fun stuff to do, um, you know, with Ableton. He was like, dude, the infinity looper, you can MIDI it right in there and create some loops and then hit go and, and it loops right in time with everything. Cool. So I've been trying that and then I'll plug a bass into the second input yeah. and then have, you know, parallel loops going yep. which is really fun yeah. yeah wow that's cool man that's really cool yeah so yeah so having that having that live even yeah you know, do whatever you want with it it's yeah yeah live. yeah and if it, the opportunity ever presents itself to play by myself which is you know i prefer to have a rhythm section but it's yeah. something you know that you can yeah that, that that you can pull off with this pedal it's exactly cool. you can yeah you can stack and then you can have a have a at least some rhythm behind you while you're yeah. playing a solo or something exactly yeah. exactly that's cool that's yeah. cool I, I, I seriously, I love this because, like I said, it just shows the bare minimum. It's yes. exactly what you have to have to get by. Yep. And I'll, I'll often add a wah pedal, mm -hmm. a crybaby. I have the mini crybaby. Yeah. Um, that I'll add to the front of this if I need to. So again, it's kind of like modular. I mean, one yeah. of the things I like about carrying a tiny little board is I can switch things in and out easily, whereas mm -hmm. my bigger board, it's kind of wire. It's a little more of a process yeah. to switch things out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it's fun. It's not the prettiest sight <laughs> at the moment, but it, it, it works great. And like, and also it's never, you know, if something goes wrong, it's easy to figure out. Oh my gosh, on. yeah. Yeah, the signal routing is like yeah. oh, that one to that one. Okay, yeah, good, now we're we done. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's working? Okay, let's use that yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, I, believe me, I've, I've, we've all been there, definitely yeah. on stage going, Okay, yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. And I have <laughs> no idea what's going on and so, how I'm going to fix it. Yeah, exactly. Man, I, it's funny. Just an aside, I had to play a gig, plug straight into the amp. It was the count off. Yeah. And I had nothing. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. here we go. Plug straight into the front of the amp, which was great. Yeah. It was a fun learning it works, experience. But yeah, end, but yeah, yeah. Then you have to switch everything. Then you got to try to hope that your amp is. Uh, you can get it to a if it's a low wattage or has the low wattage switch, so you can crank it. Right, you know? right. You just get a little, a little least, something extra yeah, out of it. Yeah, you need man. a little bit of that. Yeah. It's hard. It's it's yeah. hard for me to play a gig just straight clean. It is, man, yeah. and it's and it's hard. It's it's hard to uh, lose the dynamic range. That's yeah. the biggest yeah, thing for me in the yeah. color spectrum, man. Yeah, I just it got really it got really tricky. Yeah, I, I realized that the thing I missed the most was my volume pedal, which is yeah. so weird. I would yeah. never think that, but I always like blend myself with the volume pedal. 
You know, yeah. I did that for so long. I don't know how I was able, I, you know, I guess I just started using the volume on the guitar right. more, but for right. so many years I had that big Ernie Ball one. Yeah. But people would always tell me, oh, the volume pedals suck your tone and this, that, and the other. Yeah. And then I also, when I started just doing the smaller board, yeah. I was like, you know, but I, but I do love having like at home when I'm tracking stuff, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll hook that up. And, yeah, because you can just kind of, I, I use it just dynamically, Yeah, you know. Oh, I get it. It's, yeah. it's a great tool to have it, but yeah. Yeah, anyway, well, sorry for that aside, but no, <laughs> thanks for indulging me on that. But of yeah, this is, uh, this is great, man. This is great. So the fact that you can take this board out yeah. and, and play, I mean, you do such a variety of stuff. That's what's amazing. You know, you really do, man. I mean, you kind of take man. your style and your thing and you and you plug it into that. But, man, you do a really wide variety of stuff. And it's great to see that board, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's 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 stuff. simple, but there's a lot of stuff I can do with it. And I yeah. fit it in that little tick mono tick bag, um, mm -hmm. which is super easy yep. to carry around. If I need to, like, attach it to the mono uh, guitar bag. Yeah, exactly. Super easy. Um, you know, I'm just trying to simplify because I do so many fly dates, you know, yeah. and not all in, in if I'm traveling, it, it depends on the travel situation, but in my bigger board, I can fit in a Pelican case and, yeah. and, and roll that around, which is great too. But this, I, this one, honestly, I put in that tick, fit it in the side of my big suitcase, put my clothes in there and I'm yeah, off. Exactly. You, know? you got one rolling suitcase. Yeah. And you're I, I, I like man. keeping it that's, simple. Yeah. Man. That's a great thing when you can do that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Man, Eric, thanks so much, man. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. It's really appreciate you, man. Yeah, definitely. You too, man. Definitely. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about any of Eric's gear, or just any questions about Eric, just make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check out Sweetwater.com. Thanks.